Hey y'all, welcome back to GSC. Did more work on Casper today. Did a billet return block and made it all external and replaced the under intake harness. So I'm gonna turn this around because there was no real good way to film it and just gonna explain how we did it because between my arms and all the crap in the engine bay, there was no point in trying to do an in action video of this. So we'll turn it around. I'll put some pictures of what it looked like when it came out and uh, hopefully you guys get the gist. All right, so today was the day we finally put our new main harness in that's supposed to run under the intake. I actually did it externally because I am so tired of taking the intake off to work on this thing. So as you can see, I have zip tied out of the way here. I have everything pulled up to the top and that way it's not stuck in the valley where it's already hotter than hell. I went ahead and zip tied it right here because that was as good a place as ever. I want to get some p-clips and that way i can really mount it up off these two standoffs here's our two weather pack style connectors in the back and everything there is up out of the way and not touching anything it shouldn't so new harness is in the truck starts on a flash and it runs great i've got a video of it starting that i'll post and then we'll explain this billet return block starts pretty darn good doesn't it and that was with air in the lines because i actually did both these in, at the same time here's our new return system i ran it up along exterior here i capped off my front injectors for the return side hard to see he's capped and that one over there's capped and our returns actually come off the rear injectors now and i have that one tucked up under and they run up to this little block fella down there so I ran this all externally because, like I said, I'm tired of taking the upper and lower intake out to have to work on this truck. It has leaks. It is a farm truck now. It gets used as such. And when things leak or things break, I much prefer to be able to just go for it from the top side here, get it taken care of, and move on with my day. So here's our pretty new line. Runs across. There is no way to mount this billet return block. I don't really love that. So I just kind of have it chilling back here with the rest of everything and I have it zip tied in place because that was as good of an idea as I could come up with at the time so as you can see it doesn't go too bad being installed like that it tucks right behind your stock filter head if you don't have a filter anymore that works even better but there's our new injection pump harness that runs around to the back got our billet return that runs there and I ran it all externally and hopefully this helps some of you guys out if you're doing an external return system and a new intake harness. Now that you've heard this thing start with the new harness, I would recommend to all of you with the DS4 truck, take the time to invest in one because it really does change how they operate and it makes a huge difference. So I'll throw some pictures here in the end of new harness versus old harness and I'll take some, put a couple of pictures in there from the return. So... Thanks, everybody, and hopefully this helped you out.